What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, today was a very sad day as um, the Abuja High Court today had rejected Nam Dekano's request for the DSS to give oral evidence about his health. According to Nam Dekano, Nam Dekano had petitioned that the, the court should mandate that DSS should give oral revelation about the state of his health to Nigerians. And um, looking at it, this was a very simple request. But on how the Abuja High Court had to reject this request today is what has left a lot of people asking questions. Will Nam Dekano get justice in Nigeria? And of course, looking at it critically, you just know that the answer is no, he will not get justice. Uh, because the way he was even brought into the country shows that he will not get justice. It shows the people who are actually very desperate. Yeah, they are very desperate because um, on how you were able to... Re Normally, what they usually do in situations like this, if they claim Nam Dekano absconded bail and jumped bail, what they should have done was to have used International Court of Justice. They should have used International Police to get him arrested. That is the normal uh, procedure. Or if they know that he is in Kenya, they should have used um, the Kenyan law. That is, they should have requested for his extradition to Nigeria. But you see, all of these things were not all followed. But the way he was brought in into the country, even United Nations have queried Nigeria and uh, Kenya to to answer for how Nam Dekanu disappeared from Kenya. And even now, they can't even want a case in Abia Court. When Abia Court, I, I think, um, uh, actually awarded damage, is it up to one, five billion to Nam Dekanu for the way he was, the damage, you know, that accrued to him or how he was brought into the country. Now, looking at it, there are two times, to the best of my knowledge, um, I know there are other ones, but I can't remember for now, but two vital requests have been rejected by courts you know, recently. The one being the um, Isiago, when Nam Dekano requested that he should be allowed to wear Isiago. Isiago is a traditional wear for the Igbos. Also, apart from being the clothing for the Igbos, it is also international. This clothing is everywhere. A lot of Nigerians wear it, you know. So, but on how Abuja High Court rejected Nam Dekano's request for that clothing shows there's something fishy. Now, today, they rejected Nam Dekano's request for DSS to make give an oral evidence about Nam Dekano's health to Nigerians. The court still rejected. So what is actually going on? What is actually going on? You see, that's why people are, are clamoring. You see, that's why the, uh, the Southeast are crying for marginalization, that they are not being carried along in the system called Nigeria today. They are not being carried along because if this can happen, you know, to Nam Dekanu, just ordinarily making the DSS to, I mean, make my health status known to Nigeria can be rejected. It goes a long way to say something is actually fishy. So, but what do you guys think about this court rejecting Nam Dekanu? Please drop your comment. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.